Hi, um, I am Ava Filza, a digital artist, and I like especially painting portraits. I paint um, humans, but uh, also many fantasy figures like elves and vampires and um, fairies. My first contact with art happened quite early in my childhood. Um, my parents always appreciated art, and when I was a small child I was already looking through classical art books. And from there on my passion for art started. Um, on my early teens I started um, learning graphic design and have been working with it for over a decade. And uh, only in the last couple of years actually I have been um, working hard on digital painting. And it happened by a suggestion of my husband. That he was the one who suggested me to join my efforts on digital painting. My work process is rather simple, but it can sound a little bit strange. Um, I never draw prior to painting. I paint directly the shapes and forms that I will have on my composition. And then I add the lighting and shading. And from there on, I go adding details. I can paint directly over reference sometimes, but uh, other times I can just look at the references and paint directly over a blank canvas. Um, my art studio is very simple and small. It's um, a, no a small office that I share with my husband. Um, we have one computer which he has uh, set up with uh, two screens and um, we used to share it because he works with photography and I work with graphic design and illustration. I also have a bunch of books and magazines close to me so I can consult them and do some research when I need. And uh, my workplace also extends to the living room and the sofa more specifically because during my computer breaks um, I like to sit there and grab my sketchbook and start um, writing down my ideas and uh, sketching what I have in mind. So my ID factory is in fact the living room and the office is where those um, ideas um, become finished pieces. I think the best part of being an artist is being able to create your own universe, your own worlds and creatures and expanding that universe to other people, which means um, your audience. Um, I do believe that artists have a sixth sense, which means uh, they have some extra sensibility towards uh, the world and how things are and I also think that mostly artists are not so well understood by their families and friends and neighbors because they think that you just do hobby all the time and they don't see that being an artist can also be a profession I think uh, one of the biggest challenge of being an artist is to find your right niche and your spot in the market because the market is quite limited and there are many wonderful artists coming all the time and more and more now in this uh, last uh, decade. Mostly of my jobs and commission works they come from um, CG community like uh, sketchholic.com, CG Society, um, it's art, they an art and some others and a big part maybe as much as 70% of my jobs they come from clients whom I have already worked with and also they do what we call word of mouth marketing and from there on I gain new clients. I think some of the most important aspects on keeping your jobs coming 
is um, to be always honest with your clients and prospects. If you can't handle the tasks they're asking for, just be honest about it. Say so you can't do it and uh, maybe recommend someone else. Some of your artist, artist friends, for example. Always keep your deadlines. Um, be organized in, a, in your workflow and uh, your files. Um, always, always offer quality work. Don't give less than your best. Those are some of the most crucial things. At last, I don't have any wisdom to give, I think, because wisdom is not something that uh, you can give to someone, or rather, uh, someone has to look for it. And it has to come from insights, from the deeper parts of that person but I would uh, give just two tips and um, this is to be be a humble person and artist and the second one is always commit to be a better artist always commit to improve <laughs>